Yes, your long ranger with Dr. Doug Gillum and meteorologist Jacqueline Whittall. When's the cold going to let up? That's the question that the sure. people in the prairies need to have answered, Doug. Well, we do have a November thaw on the way, but let's take a look back at how November has looked across the country. A weather pattern that resembled what we saw most of last winter. Oh. The blues and greens represent temperatures below average. And again, this is looking back at the past November so far. Only parts of Atlantic Canada and right along the west coast has seen above seasonal temperatures so far this month. Indicated by the orange. Right. Now, if we look at Friday, right. whoa, that purple, that magenta color, that's cold air. Temperatures at Great Lakes. But note the milder air, mm -hmm. the start of our thaw brief thaw into the western prairies and um, some milder temperatures still in Newfoundland but and what a pattern change big time and I just want to say like how does that really happen on the west coast this is really just a transient kind of pattern change right the Arctic air is relaxing and then somewhat reloading also more of a westerly flow rather than the air right out of the Arctic but sure. as we go into early next week we see the temperatures dropping back and the Maritimes well our headquarters are in Oakville Ontario yes. I'm smiling that looks pretty nice although I am enjoying uh, the snow right now as well so look at this nine degrees that's what that's the kind of temperatures we're talking about right uh, 10 degrees in Montreal 13 in Halifax wow. meanwhile across the prairies and not as cold as we've been at least it's not minus teens for highs that's right okay and then last graphic here Doug the final five days of November highlighting temperatures or December like rather than January like hashtag no magenta <laughs> all right brisk as we watch a system that on Sunday will move through the prairies and into northwestern Ontario by Sunday as well all right heavy snow early next week in northern Ontario